On the Canvas dashboard, there's quite a lot going on. Here you will see various cards, and each card represents a course. You can see the course name and course code on each card. In this case, I see that I have an unread announcement. It's essentially a new piece of information. I also have unread discussion posts. The green icons indicate unread items. This icon shows new submissions, and this one, new files. You can also move a card to a different location on the dashboard, allowing you to reorganize them as you like. You can change the color of the cards and even give a course nickname if that makes it easier for you to find it again. The courses that appear on this page are managed under courses and all courses. You can click on a star to decide which courses should appear on the dashboard. For example, if I no longer want this course to be displayed, I can remove it from the dashboard, and when I return to the dashboard, it will be hidden. On the right-hand side, you'll see the to-do list, which includes tasks with deadlines from various courses. By clicking on a link, you'll be taken directly to that object in the relevant course. Under Recent Feedback, you'll find any grades or comments that are currently relevant to you. There are three different ways to display information on the dashboard. These can all be found under the three dots. The List view shows what's current for you, starting with today at the top, followed by upcoming days. This gives you a quick overview of tasks that need attention. Under the three dots, you'll also find the recent activity view, which differs by showing things that have been changed or added to courses. It doesn't necessarily indicate tasks you need to complete, but rather recent changes. So there are three different views to choose from. Under Groups, you'll find any groups you're part of. To see more information, you can click on All Groups and you'll see which course each group belongs to. Clicking into a group brings you to the group workspace, where you can have internal discussions with your group members and work on various types of collaborations. This workspace is primarily for the group itself, not for communications with instructors. Under Calendar, you'll find several calendars. The first one listed is always your personal calendar. You can add private events here, which no one else can see. Below that, you'll find calendars for each of your courses. You can toggle them on or off to show or hide events from specific courses. Further down, there are also calendars for your groups, and you can add events to these group calendars as well. Just be mindful of what is visible by checking or unchecking the boxes. Your inbox is where Canvas internal messages are located and where most communications occur. These messages typically come from your instructor, but you can also communicate with other students and faculty. This is not email, so don't confuse it with that. To read a message, just click on it. The black number indicates how many messages are part of the conversation thread. For example, here I have two messages in this thread. To mark a message as read, click on the green icon and to mark it as unread, click the empty circle to make it green again. To send a message, click Compose a new message. And here you can select the course, you can select the one or more recipients, and then compose the message. If you have many messages, you can filter them to view only messages from a specific course. Finally, the History feature is also useful for seeing where you've been in Canvas. For example, it shows that I was on the Course Grades page some hours ago. This can help you navigate back to places more easily. Good luck with Canvas!